hi you guys it's your girl Tara and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing a 90s grunge eye look using the Jaclyn Hill bling boss palette but before you leave don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from me so if you want to see what kind of 90s grunge look I'm going to be coming up with using the Jaclyn Hill bling boss palette then just keep on watching hello all my lovely friends and I hope everyone is having an amazing day and from the title of this video, I am going to be doing a 90s grunge look with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Bling Boss Palette. I do want to say that this is my favorite, one of the palettes from the vault, but I just want to know, have they been discontinued? Because I went on Poshmark and someone said that it was being discontinued. So I go on the Morphe site and it's only there if you are going to buy in Australia. So the US section of Morphe, for some reason, no search results, no. So now I'm gonna probably have to go to Marshall's cause yeah, this is my favorite one. But let's just jump right into it. And as always, I went ahead and prepped and primed my eyes. But in the 90s, we didn't do that because we didn't have it, so. This shall be interesting. All right, so for my transition shade, I'm going to be going in with this shade right here where I hit pan and this is called Hush Hush. Now back in the 90s, we never had a transition shade. So when I go to put it on, you're gonna see I'm gonna be putting it on a lot differently. Okay, at first, as always, I am gonna go in like I would normally. But instead of just being up here like I would, I'm actually gonna bring it all the way down because I know for a fact in the 90s we did use more than one color but we always put it on top of the other color if that makes sense now I probably wouldn't change anything about the 90s except for one thing I would make sure that the writers of Beverly Hills 90210 never had Dylan cheat on Brenda with Kelly. Like that was so wrong. Team Brenda for life, okay? All right, so with the same color, and I am using the Morphe M441, I'm gonna go back in again and just try to put it everywhere. Cause it was coming up a little bit light, but we'll see. All right, so that part is done. Looking good so far. All right, now I'm gonna be going in with the Morphe M453. And I'm thinking I'm gonna go over here. What do you know? The shade Rockstar. And yes, it will go in the crease, but like I said earlier, it might make its way down to the lid, but that is okay. This might look like a hot mess, but I will get it together like I always do. Always trust the process. I remember in the 90s when CoverGirl came out with their first matte lipstick, I believe. There was a lipstick and then there was a lip balm that came in it. And I thought it was the greatest thing and I remember it was called CoverGirl Color Last. It was something like that. And the shade was chocolate that I ended up getting. And that was basically my go-to lipstick. All right, so back in the 90s, we had Caboodles. Well, we also had something called Sassabe or My Sassabe, and I actually found it. And I guess I held on to it for a long time. And inside, you guys, was the lipstick that I used. So I did find it. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not gonna use it. It's very, very old, but just to show you guys. So that was the color that I wore. Same thing over here with this eye. And I will be doing a look with some Wet n Wild. I've had a few subscribers say they wanted an eye look with that, basically a 90s look. So whatever look that you guys want me to do, just leave in the comment section below. It could be, really any decade. So I'm up for anything. Okay, now I'm gonna be taking the JH30 to blend because I will say that this is one of the shades in this palette that is 
it takes a while to blend. This color did give me a little bit of fallout, so I had to wipe it away. Like I said, it's okay that everything is getting on the lid because this is exactly how it was back then. All right, with the same brush, the M453, um, I'm thinking I'm gonna go in with Spark, but I'm just going to take a few dabs at it and that's it. All right, now I'm gonna be going in with the JH30 to blend this out. All right, now I'm gonna be going in with the Morphe M433. I'm gonna be going in with this dark shade Mystic. And basically I'm just going to go right over here. Not too much though. Like I said, it's basically all going to be the same color. Like I said earlier, eventually all the colors were gonna end up on the lid, but I'm not done. It's okay. Always a hot mess at first. And then it always comes together. I was expecting the Kendall and Kylie collection to come in, but it didn't come in yet. It was supposed to be here yesterday. I'm definitely looking forward to doing that. All right, now with the JH45, I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. Now, also I wanna say in the 90s, we also did not put a shimmer up on the brow bone and we did not do it on the tear duct. All right, now I'm gonna take the Morphe E17 and I'm going to be going back in with that shade Mystic and this one's just going to go under here. Just wanna make sure that this is gonna be smoked out. All right, you guys, <laughs> if I wanted to leave it like this, I would, but I don't. So we're gonna do the last step. I'm going to go ahead and take the Morphe 124 and I'm gonna be going in with the shade right here, which is called Berry Treasure. Now, this shade is actually going to come out black, but in the pan, it has some glitter. So yeah, I was disappointed. I think a lot of people were. I'm not gonna take that much. I'm just gonna take this. And I hope this goes okay. Oh yes. You know, the music we had back in the 90s, considered grunge, Nirvana, Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, Stone Temple Pilots. I'm sure I, the list could go on and on and on. So basically just stamp this on. I'm trying not to like sweep it. Now we'll go ahead and blend. But yeah, I do remember a lot of girls in school doing this. And I had to make sure to wear the flannel, you know? It's not around my waist, but it's okay. Do you guys remember that? All right, now I'm gonna be going back in with the JH45 to blend this out. And you guys, also with my eyebrows, I really didn't do much, just because I wanted to keep them probably as thin as I possibly could. As you know, in the 90s, it was very thin eyebrows, even in the early 2000s. Okay, so far, so good. All right, I'm gonna go back in with the Morphe M441, the very first brush that I use. And I'm gonna go back in with that color, Hush Hush. And all I'm gonna do is slowly and gently just go up here just to diffuse this out a little bit. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to go do the rest of my makeup off camera and then I will be right back. All right, you guys, I am back with the rest of my makeup on, except for my lip liner and my lipstick. But while I was away, I went ahead and used Makeup by Mario eyeliner right in the waterline. And then I did it up on the upper one and then right up on my lid also. And I did go ahead and jump into this blush palette by Jaclyn Cosmetics. And I used the shade living lavish right there because that is the darkest shade in the palette and i liked how that turned out so let's jump into the lipstick and lip liner all right i'm going to be going in first with the lip liner and this is from jacqueline cosmetics and this is in the shade you guys it looks a dark plum dark purple way out of my comfort zone but it's okay all right, now I'm going to be going in with that same shade, you guys, with the Matte Liquid Lipstick by Jaclyn. That's what it looks like, and if you guys are new to my channel, I'm usually just nudes, that's all. So this is definitely out of my comfort zone. All right, you guys, I'm gonna have that dry down just a little bit. While that is drying down, 
I do now like the look. It is definitely out of my comfort zone. It is actually giving me Kourtney Kardashian vibes. Not the Kourtney when she was with Scott, the Kourtney now when she's with Travis. But I do want to tell all you ladies and gentlemen out there that if you are going to date someone, you don't have to dress a certain way or do your makeup a certain way just to be with that person because that's their style, if you know what I mean. All right, you guys, so this is the final 90s grunge look. And if you guys wanna see anything special, then just leave a comment in the comment section below. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon, bye.